Russia bombs its own territory again. Russia has accidentally bombed its own territory close to the Ukrainian border while carrying out strikes on the city of Kharkiv, according to reports in what appears to be the latest incident of Moscow inadvertently targeting its own population. According to Newsweek, that open source intelligence accounts and Ukraine aligned media reported that a Russian jet carrying out guided glide bomb strikes on the northeastern Ukrainian city of Kharkiv mistakenly dropped munitions on Belgorod. The region, which sits on the border with northeast Ukraine, has borne the brunt of much of the war's spillover into internationally recognized Russian territory. Russia has previously admitted to bombing its own territory and parts of eastern Ukraine under its control. Anton Gerashchenko, a former advisor to Ukraine's interior ministry, said a guided bomb fell right on a residential sector and exploded. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said last Saturday that Russia had dropped almost 70 guided aerial bombs against our border communities and positions at the front in the previous day. Vyacheslav Gladkov, the governor of the Belgorod region, said that an explosion in the city of Belgorod had injured five people. There were no fatalities, he said, adding that 30 homes and 10 cars were damaged without offering any further information about the source of the blast. Russian glide bombs have rained down on Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city in recent months. Across the front line, Moscow has used adapted Soviet-era bombs fitting the munitions with guidance kits and wings to strike targets. Russian jets fire the precision-guided bombs out of the range of Kyiv's air defenses and they glide towards their target, often with devastating effect. Ukrainian officials in Kharkiv have reported several strikes, including those using guided aerial bombs in recent days. Last month, footage appeared to show a 1,500-kilogram converted bomb landing on a Russian-controlled village in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region, although the munition did not detonate. Separately, in April, Russian independent media outlet Astra reported that Moscow had mistakenly dropped a KH-59 missile on a village in the Belgorod region, in January, Russia bombed the village of Petropavlovka in the country's Voronezh region by mistake. Russia will test NATO with hybrid attacks, commander of Finnish army. The Russian Federation may not directly attack NATO countries, but will continue hybrid attacks such as signal jamming and interference in elections, stated the new commander of the Finnish Defense Forces, General Jan Jakola. Some officials such as US President Joe Biden and Danish Defense Minister Trin Bramson have expressed concerns that Russia's long-term plans may include an attack on NATO. Of course, testing the Article 5 is always possible, but if we take correct action and maintain unity, I consider an attack unlikely, said Jakola. In his opinion, Russia is currently too occupied with preparing for a new summer offensive in Ukraine to consider the possibility of attacking NATO. The point for the Russians is that they wish to cause as much division in Europe as possible so that our unity and cohesion is a bit weaker. The general noted, at the beginning of 2024, statements began to circulate in the media regarding Russia's preparations for an attack on NATO countries. Germany in particular is purportedly already preparing for such a scenario. The statements made in the media prompted reactions from several NATO countries. The Ministry of Defense of Lithuania stated that they do not see a threat of Russia attacking NATO countries as Moscow is fully focused on the war in Ukraine. Russia is preparing for a large-scale conventional conflict with NATO, according to the Institute for the Study of War, based on an analysis of several Russian financial, economic and military indicators. The think tank explains that while any such conflict won't happen imminently, Russia is likely planning on a shorter timeline than some Western analysts have previously posited. The Russian military is undertaking structural reforms to simultaneously support the war in Ukraine while expanding its conventional capabilities in preparation for a potential future conflict with NATO. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has outlined several outgoing efforts to bolster Russia's conventional military capabilities, claiming that the Russian military plans to form two combined arms armies and 14 divisions and 16 brigades by the end of 